Our topic today is keeping a conversation going. We are going to learn about how to have a conversation with someone in order to share information and make a connection. We take part in and hear conversations between people throughout the day. Some conversations are short, others are long. Who do you talk to? When two or more people are having a conversation, it is important to pay attention to the person who is talking. We use whole body listening to do this. Whole body listening means we pay attention with our eyes, ears, body, and brain. We use our eyes to look at the person's face, body language, gestures, and eyes. We use our ears to listen to the person who is talking. We pay attention to what they are saying, and their tone, or the sound of their voice. We use our body in whole body listening as well. We keep our body calm, and face the person. We stand about an arm's distance away. Last, we use our brain most of all. We think about what the person is saying and try to pay attention to what we are hearing. Sometimes this is hard if there is a lot going on. Let's watch two people having a conversation. Are both people using whole body listening? So how was your weekend? It was great. I went to the pool one day and just hung out and read the rest of the weekend. Cool. What book are you reading? A book called Paper Towns by John Green. It's really good. What kind of book is it? It's a mystery. I couldn't put it down. What kind of books do you like? Notice how each person is doing whole body listening. They are focusing with their eyes, ears, bodies, and brains. Let's watch two more people. Are they showing whole body listening? What do you think of the movie so far? I like it. The chase scenes are awesome. Yeah, totally. I can't wait to see how it ends. It's going to be so great. What part or parts of whole body listening were missing? How did this make the friend feel? We use whole body listening to stay focused and thinking about the person we are talking to. To keep the conversation going, we listen for golden nuggets. Golden nuggets are pieces of information that we can use to help us ask questions or make comments. For example, if you ask someone what they did last weekend, and they said, I did some homework and a lot of chores on Saturday, but on Sunday, I went to a bounce house party. What was the golden nugget? To keep talking about that topic, we can ask questions. Questions usually start with who, what, when, where, why, or how. For example, if someone told you that they are going to New York over the weekend, what questions might you ask? We can also make comments. We make positive comments when people share something positive. We make negative comments when people share something negative. Can you think of some positive comments that you might say if someone told you that they learned to play guitar? What about negative comments if someone told you that their iPad broke? Let's watch one more conversation. Do you see how these two people use comments and questions to keep the conversation going? Are you doing the science fair again this year? Oh yeah, I am really excited about it. I am testing how sleep changes how well people think. Oh cool. Who was in the experiment? Mostly just me and my family, but I am looking for volunteers. Sounds like fun. What are the people doing in the experiment? Well, they have to get less than five hours of sleep for three nights and then I ask them to solve puzzles. Wow. That sounds tough. Are you doing the science fair too? Yeah, it should be fun. How well did these two friends do? Did you hear any follow-up questions or comments? Did they use whole body listening and look for the golden nuggets? The girls did a great job staying focused on one another, listening and taking turns. We will get a lot of practice with conversations over the next few weeks.